lightweight competition heating up in segments, Xiaomi needs to set up its game to stay relevant. The Redmi Note 8 Pro is an attempt to do that and has a lot of offer for the price, delivering new hardware and a set of much needed features. Redmi Note 8 Pro smartphone has 6.53 inches IPS LCD capacitive type display with 84.9% screen to body ratio and aspect ratio 19.5 by 9. You can adjust the display to make it cooler or warmer and there is also cooler wheel for the adjustments according to the needs of the user. This smartphone has a protection of Gorilla Glass 5 on front as well as on the 4 side 3D card back. It has rear-mounted fingerprint sensor with an image density of 395 ppi. Redmi Note 8 Pro is powered by MediaTek Helio G90T processor and comes with a dedicated cooling mechanism and turbo mode for gaming that packed with 6GB and 8GB of RAM. Xiaomi claimed the Helio G90T chipset has resolved the heating issues. In fact, a recent teardown relieved that the Redmi Note 8 Pro has an outclass heating management system. That good news for mid-range gamers. The Note 8 Pro has a liquid cooler vapor chamber for heating the special notice the chassis is getting warm to the notch. Combine this with a hyper engine game which switch to a combination of Wi-Fi and cellular data if your Wi-Fi signal gets weak optimization. In game testing, the Note 8 Pro slightly outperformed the Redmi K20, which runs a Snapdragon 730 mobile platform. Redmi Note 8 Pro smartphone has quad camera setup on the rear that consists of 26mm wide 64MP main shooter with 1.9 aperture. Redmi Note 8 Pro is one of the first devices to incorporate the brand new 64MP sensor from Samsung with native pixel binding technology. We are expecting good low light performance and competent night mode to complement the overall camera performance. Video recording goes up to 4K 30 frame per second or 1080 pixel 60 frame per second with the main rear camera. And you can also get up 960 frames per second at 720 pixels for super slow motion clips. And the super slow motion of Redmi Note 8 Pro is excellent within this range of smartphone. And the second one is 30mm 8MP ultra wide sensor with 2.2 aperture. And third one is 2MP dedicated macro camera with 2.4 aperture. And fourth one is 2MP depth sensor with 2.4 aperture. Macro camera lens can focus from as close as 4 cm away. The distance you can shoot in macro mode will always differ from the actual distance of your smartphone. On the front, this smartphone has 20 megapixel fixed focus camera with 2.0 aperture. It runs Oxygen OS 6 based on Android 9.0 Pi and that is updatable to Android 10 and packed with 64 and 128 GB of inbuilt storage. That can be expanded by a micro SD card up to 256 GB with dedicated SD card slot. Redmi Note 8 Pro smartphone is powered by 4500 mAh battery with 18W fast battery charging support. Vivo S1 Pro smartphone has 6.38 inches Super AMOLED capacitive touch display with 83.4% screen to body ratio and aspect ratio 19.5 by 9. It is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass on the front as well as glass stick material on the back side of the smartphone. It has under display fingerprint sensor with an image density of 404 ppi. Vivo S1 Pro smartphone is based on 1.8 to 2.0 GHz octa core Snapdragon 665 11nm processor with Adreno 610 GPU and packed with 8 GB of RAM. Snapdragon 665 extends our third generation Qualcomm artificial intelligence engine to improve mobile feature, better camera performance, better security performance, and better gaming performance. And Qualcomm Spectre 165 image signal processor provides high quality shots in almost any setting. Vivo S1 Pro smartphone has diamond shaped quad camera setup on the rear that consists of 48 megapixel main shooter with 1.8 aperture and 0.8 micron pixel size. Vivo S1 Pro Global having features like out of focus. Continuous shooting, digital zoom, geotagging, panorama HDR, touch to focus, face detection, white balance setting, ISO setting, and self timer. Main camera also provide a feature to record 4K as well as slow motion video in HDR plus mode. And the second one is 13mm 8MP ultra wide center with 2.2 aperture and 1.12 micron pixel size. And the third one is 2MP dedicated macro camera with 2.4 aperture, which is used to capture small objects like insects and flowers for better clarity. The fourth one is 2 megapixel depth sensor with 2.4 aperture. On the front, this smartphone has 26mm wide 32 megapixel fixed focus camera with 2.0 aperture. Vivo S1 Pro smartphone runs 1.9.2 based on Android 9.0 Pi and packed with 128GB of inbuilt storage. That can be expanded by a micro SD card up to 256GB that uses shared SIM slot. Vivo S1 Pro smartphone is powered by 4500mAh battery with 18W fast battery charging support that can be charged 100% just in 80 to 90 minutes. Realme 
XT smartphone has 6.4 inches Super AMOLED display with 84.3 screen to body ratio and aspect ratio of 19.5 by 9. It has in-display fingerprint sensor and has an image density of 403 ppi. Realme XT is protected by Gorilla Glass 5 on front side and also have aluminium frame on its back side. This smartphone has an octa-core Snapdragon 712 10nm chipset and packed with 4, 6 and 8 GB of RAM. Realme XT on the back has quad camera setup that consists of 64 megapixel main shooter with 1.8 aperture and the second one is 13 mm 8 megapixel ultra wide sensor with 2.3 aperture and third one is 2 megapixel dedicated macro camera with 2.4 aperture along with 2 megapixel depth sensor with 2.4 aperture on the front the smartphone has 16 megapixel fixed focus camera with 2.0 aperture it runs color os 6 that based on android 9.0 pi and pack 64 and 128 gb of inbuilt storage that can be expanded by a micro sd card up to 256 gb with dedicated sd card slot it is powered by 4000 mAh battery and 20 watt of fast battery charging support as well as v flash charge. Flash charging system is a rapid charging technology created by Oppo Electronics. Realme Extra Smartphone has 6.4 inches Super AMOLED display with 84.3% screen to body ratio and aspect ratio 19.5 by 9. It is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 5 on front as well as on the back side of the smartphone with aluminum frame body. It has under display optical fingerprint sensor with an image density of 403 ppi. Realme X2 smartphone is based on 1.8 to 2.0 GHz octa-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 730G 8nm processor with Adreno 618 GPU and packed with 6 GB and 8 GB of RAM. Adreno 610 is an upper gaming platform for upper mid-range devices. According to benchmark rating, the Adreno 618 is 14-30% to 30 faster than the Adreno 616 in the Snapdragon 710. The performance in the 730G is 15% faster due to higher clock rates. Realme X2 smartphone has quad camera setup on the rear that consists of 64 megapixel main shooter with 1.8 aperture and 0.8 micron pixel size. Main camera provide a feature of autofocus. Optical image stabilization, 4K video recording as well as slow motion in HD and HDR plus mode. The slow motion camera record video at the rate of 960 frames per second in 720 resolutions. And second one is 13mm 8 megapixel ultra wide sensor with 2.3 aperture and 1.12 micron pixel size. And the third one is 2 megapixel dedicated macro camera with 2.4 aperture along with 2 megapixel depth sensor with 2.4 aperture. On the front, the smartphone has 26mm wide 32 megapixel fixed focus camera with 2.0 aperture. It runs Color OS 6 based on Android 9.0 Pi, which is upgraded to Android 10 and packed with 64, 128, and 256 GB of inbuilt storage that can be expanded by micro SD card up to 256 GB with dedicated SD card slot. Realme X2 smartphone is powered by 4000 mAh battery with 30W of fast battery charging as well as VWC flash charge. Oppo F15 smartphone has 6.4 inches AMOLED display with 85.8% screen to body ratio and aspect ratio 20 by 9. It is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 5 on the front as well as plastic frame body on the back side of the smartphone. It has under display fingerprint sensor with an image density of 408 ppi. Oppo F15 smartphone is powered by 2.0 to 2.1 GHz octa-core MediaTek Helio P7012 nm chipset and packed with 8 GB of RAM. The MediaTek Helio P70 is an upper mainstream chipset for smartphone that was introduced in early 2019. As compared to the older Helio P60, the P70 uses the same silicon but 100 MHz higher clockwise CPU and GPU cores. P70 is powering intelligent devices with core innovation for the most power, longest battery life, beautiful imaging and fluid gaming experience. This chip defines a new premium bringing high-end features to affordable mid-range devices. Oppo F15 smartphone has quad camera setup on the rear that consists of 26mm wide 48MP main shooter with 1.8 aperture. The main camera provides a feature of face reduction autofocus, 4K video recording, as well as super steady slow motion video in HD resolutions. The main camera results in sharp 12MP photos with plenty of light, more details and less noise. And the second one is 13mm 8MP ultra wide sensor with 2.3 aperture and 1.12 micron pixel size. And the third one is 2 megapixel BW camera with 2.4 aperture. BW camera is a specialized black and white camera that provides full control on how color transfer to black and white and it is the best monochrome lens to take excellent photography. And the fourth one is 2 megapixel depth sensor with 2.4 aperture. On the front, the smartphone has 26mm wide 16 megapixel fixed focus camera with 2.0 aperture. Oppo F15 smartphone runs color OS 6.1 based on Android 9.0 Pi and packed with 128GB of inbuilt storage with dedicated SD card slot.
This device is powered by 4025 mAh battery with 20W fast battery charging as well as 3.0 VWC flash charge that can maintain high charging speed during trickle charging period. VWC 3.0 charge the smartphone 100% just in 20 minutes.